Hi, I'm Dominique from Body Mind Fitness here to talk to you today about the core breath. So the core breath is the first thing that I approach with any clients coming to me when they are dealing with pelvic floor dysfunction as well as postpartum women who are coming back to movement and exercise after having a baby. So with that said, it really is the first strategy that we use not just when returning to exercise and movement, but also in learning how to manage the everyday demands in your daily life. So it's a way to figure out the connection between the breath and the pelvic floor, which many people don't know that there is a direct connection between the two, also between the diaphragm and the pelvic floor itself. So with that said, when we start off the core breath technique, I often have women laying down, sideline. This allows them the opportunity to just solely focus on the breath without thinking about, you know, oh, I'm standing, I should keep my back straight. It really just lets you decompress, relax, and focus on that breathing alone. From this position, we start by focusing on the diaphragm muscle and the fact that it lowers down as we breathe in and then rises back up as we breathe out which can seem a little bit backwards, especially if you are used to being a chest breather, there's this feeling of lift as you breathe in and lowering as you breathe out, where in actuality, it's the opposite. Again, lowering down as you breathe in, rising back up as you breathe out. When we are in a really great posture, Incorporating the pelvic floor is very easy. So ribs stacked over pelvis is what we'd like to see. And then what you get is the diaphragm stacked directly over top of the pelvic floor. And these two areas of the body are meant to mimic each other. Again, lowering down as we breathe in, rising back up as we breathe out. So just to reiterate, where you're not looking for the pelvic floor to only remain tight and support everything internally, it needs to move in both directions, both relaxing and contracting. So both directly related. We are not manipulating the breath in any way to make this happen. This is the way the body is made to function. With that said, Oftentimes what happens when we think about letting go through the pelvic floor and the breath in and the rise and the breathe out is some people really focus on bearing down on the pelvic floor when we are breathing in and then really squeezing to lift back up, which is not what we would like to see either. It's a very subtle movement, which is why you've probably never noticed it before and why we need to bring attention to it in these very simple movements to start. So it's almost very wave-like, it's very gentle, and that's why the next progression is my favorite out of all of them, but again, I want to emphasize that if you are newly postpartum, you are still recovering, including stitches, if it feels uncomfortable at all, um, anywhere along your pelvic floor, please refrain from doing this until things are feeling at least relatively normal, healed, no pain when you apply pressure because it does involve sitting on top of an exercise ball. But again, this is my favorite way to get feedback from something external as to what your pelvic floor is doing. So just as a little bit of a breakdown, so in here is your internal organs and your pelvic floor is used to support these pelvic organs. When you are pregnant, you've got the added pressure of a baby pressing down on the pelvic floor as well, and the pelvic floor supporting all the weight that comes with baby, water weight, um, anything else, it's weight. So with that said, there is this misconception that if you have had a C-section that you don't need to worry about your pelvic floor. This is false for that reason, that your pelvic floor has been supporting additional weight for however long you were pregnant, and it does need to be addressed whether you've had a cesarean birth, a vaginal birth, etc., etc. So now if we look at the bottom, this is what we consider the pelvic floor, and it's not made up of just one muscle, but it's actually made up of a series of muscles and connective tissues, as well as nerves and various other things kind of going in there, but the whole thing is what we consider the pelvic floor. And you'll notice that the pelvic floor is also a diamond shape. So it connects to four bony landmarks. So we've got the tailbone at the back, the ischial tuberosity at the side, and the pupus symphysis at the top. So this diamond shape can kind of give you a little bit of a visual as well. I've heard cues about 
the points of the diamond shape drawing upward when you breathe out and then spreading wide back to its diamond shape as you breathe in. So that's just an example of how you can use that visualization of the triangle when it comes to the core breath. Now, the option I was talking about with an exercise ball, so here I've actually got a Pilates ball. It's smaller, made out of the same material that an, um, a birthing ball, exercise ball is made out of. And what I like to have um, students do when they're ready and feeling up to it is actually placing the ball, sitting on top of it. So you can do this on a chair if you're using a smaller ball, but you can also use the exercise ball as well. And we just place it right center of those bony landmarks. So you can even rock around on it, explore those bony landmarks, see where they are, until you eventually land in the center. Now from here, very simple. You just breathe in and feel how the ball is reacting to the breath in. It won't be big, it's very subtle. Well, you subtly feel the ball being misshapen under the pelvic floor as you breathe in and rising again as you breathe out. But it's a great way to receive feedback from something else instead of just relying on what you're feeling when everything is internal. So I really hope this helps. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Aside from that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.